Maybe. Okay. All right. Welcome everyone to episode seven of There we go. We lost it. And we're gonna just cut the stream here. We're done. No, I'm kidding. Nerd Asylum by Night, which is the Nerd Asylum's Vampire Fifth Edition actual play chronicle where we are getting donations for Riley's Children's Hospital for our extra life charity. We're at like 735 of our thousand dollar goal. We're pretty damn far. So help us out. You can make things change in the game in real time. So with that, let's start into our vampire story. Where we are picking up, it has been about three, four days since we closed on the night where the Coterie went and spoke to Dave the Nosferatu, and Lindsay got to see Prada give Li Nicholas a talking to. <laughs> a few things have happened in those days, mostly what? You're a little soft. Am I? That's what I'm being Is this told better? by chat. Is this better? Yeah, eat the mic. Eat, eat that the mic. mic. <laughs> I'm, nom, nom, I'm gonna nom, stick nom. this right here. I am your MC tonight. Um, so, where we are picking up, a few things have happened. The coterie has kind of gotten used to each other's hung around in the. It, okay, Stasia, Stasia, you have a, you're just getting used to living right now. Uh, after coming back from, I think it was something like eight pills in four days or less. It, it was a lot. It was a lot. Up and down, fine. up and down. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. I lived. I'm gonna actually, you know, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna put Stasia a little thing right here and just put a note every time we take a pill. So I'm gonna start keeping track of that. Oh, we need no. to replace the pun <laughs> counter with the pill counter. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna pop some pills. Stasia, I live now. Lucian's a coming. He's a fucking yelling. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, but so the most important things that have happened over the past couple of days is that while going about their business, the Coterie also looked into some of the leads that Billy, uh, Dave gave them about Billy, like his apartment, his haunts at the gaming place, the 8-bit gaming, his work, where he may have been last seen, and this is what you guys found. At his apartment, assuming somebody may force your way in because it was locked, either through actually, you know, picking the lock or kicking the door in, you found that there was no forced entry, except for yours. There didn't seem to be any foul play, no sign of a struggle. A little bit messy, but definitely kind of a typical bachelor pad sort of deal. At 8-Bit Gaming, you spoke to some of the late night employees, found out that usually by the evening, Billy had gone on to hang out with Dave, so they didn't see him very often, but they definitely hadn't seen him around in about three, four weeks, which tracked. At his work, it took a little bit of finagling to actually get a hold of someone because it's a place that's open during the day, but you did find out that he was a no-call, no-show for about a month, and they had assumed that he had quit. And you finally figure out that the last place he was seen on a CCTV outside of a laundromat, it was when he was taking out laundry to walk back around to where his car was parked on the side of the building, out of view of the camera. You see him walk towards where the car is. The car never pulls out. He never walks back out. Additionally, I just remembered, I almost forgot, Kai, I am sorry. I have been asked, well, I also, I wanted to explain some of the hunger things because of some of the uh, questions we had last time when we were getting donations about hunger, and also I've been asked to explain tenants. So hunger, for our nerd asylum lovers who aren't quite as familiar with vampire, hunger is the level of need for blood that a vampire has. Typically, they start at one. They can get up to five, and after five is frenzy. Frenzy is where the character loses complete control of themselves, essentially becomes storyteller controlled, and attacks and tries to eat anything they can nearby. Especially humans. I am not allowing the 
donations to trigger frenzy, so you can't get hunger six or anything. Likewise, vampires can get to hunger zero, but hunger zero is only attainable if you kill someone, like Lindsay did in the first episode. So she was sitting at hunger zero for a little bit. Likewise, I'm not allowing donations to trigger hunger zero because it's kind of a roleplay thing. Uh, tenets are like the self-implored, self-implied rules that vampires tend to have. Like just certain lines that they won't cross. It kind of keeps them from completely foregoing their humanity. If they do cross these lines and allow themselves to do these despicable things that they wouldn't have normally allowed themselves to do, they have to do a remorse test. And that determines whether or not they retain their humanity or they take another step closer to becoming a legitimate monster. So, with that, we're going to pick up on Wednesday afternoon on a sunny day in Heligdom at Lucian's shop. <laughs> All of our kindred are still dead to the world. Nastasia. It's Wednesday. Okay. It is Wednesday. Stasia, you are half heartedly manning the shop. Still tired. There's bags in it. She's like wearing extra makeup. <laughs> when you hear the bell over top of the door go off, signaling that someone has walked in. Hello. Welcome to Lucian's Aunt. Luce. Walk. <clears throat> I'm sorry. How can I help you? Uh, the person who walks in, you see a shock of green hair for a second. Um, it's a dude who kind of just like wanders around like, oh, I'm just, just looking. Okay. And Anything you see in him. particular? Um, I heard from someone that you got some interesting like music gear in. Ow. <laughs> Ow? <laughs> uh, That's me, Savannah, asking <clears throat> ow? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, we did! Till some asshole came in and just fucking went deranged in the shop! She says in her head. <clears throat> um, we are currently out. They are in back order, but they'll be in soon, about next week. Oh. I think I thought you just got it. Like, I, someone said that you... Hmm? They go by fast. Oh, um, I'm, I'm still gonna just look around a little bit. Okay. Sorry, that, that's not Stasia, that's me. <laughs> Joe's, Joe started laughing. Look, I can't keep a fucking straight face. I'm gonna be sitting here cheesing the whole fucking time. So he wanders off into, you know, what small space of aisles there is. You see him eventually find his way oh. over to where... Lindsay and Basil had hit all of, like, the Havoc Rising stuff. Mm -hmm. And he kind of wanders over there for a minute, lingers for a long time. And, um, I can't, I can't not grin. <laughs> and Stas is just kind of, like, awkwardly, like, standing there, like, what the fuck you doing in my shop, bitch? <laughs> After a few minutes of him kind of circling that one little area, picking things up and putting them down and looking at different things, he picks up a poster and walks over and puts it on the counter. Yeah, this is um, this is what I was talking about, by the way. Uh, oh, right, yeah. So sorry. It's uh, it's been a week. Yeah, it, and it's only Wednesday, so. It's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, I, uh, yeah. this, this is, uh, yeah, we, uh, would you, would you like to get it framed? Wait, you do that? Yeah, yeah, it's a small extra, uh, upcharge, but I, I can do that really quick. Oh, you know, I, I actually have a, kind of a, a poster wall thing. It's a very specific like style that I like to. I have I I, I can get it, but I appreciate it though. Uh, oh well, you want to be sure to take care of this, and she like points down like Lizzie's signature, like the band signature at the bottom. And he nods. Give me, hang on, 
I forget what, um, intelligence and awareness? Who writes an awareness? How many Which... reds am I adding? <laughs> just one, just one. Okay. One. You've been good today. <laughs> Okay, that is a just no. Oh, okay. That's uh, not even one. Is that nothing? <laughs> nothing? Absolutely nothing? Nothing. <laughs> it does not give a <laughs> You So you gesture down at the signature and you accidentally kind of poke it and it leaves a fingerprint. <laughs> and he says, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna, uh, I, yeah. Actually, that was why I was curious. The, um, a lot of this stuff wasn't really released. It's like collector's stuff. Well, this is what we do here. That's pretty cool. Uh, do you, where did do you know where it came from? Maybe it came from Lindsay Havoc herself. The look on his face is shocked. You've talked to her? Oh, no. Just something else that we've been um, dealing. We've been going through different uh, storage units and whatnot. Oh. Wait, it's really so, common. Wait, did, so she sold her storage unit? I'm not really at liberty to say, but... Um, oh. Is there a reason? It just seemed kind of weird. Um, I mean, celebrities do shit all the time, and actually yeah. it's pretty not weird compared to some of the other shit we have in here, and how we acquired it. Looks back uh, to the monkey thing. <laughs> he's like, um, you know, some of it's kind of cool, but I'm, I don't, I don't really want to know, and he, like, takes out his card and, like, runs it through the machine, um, and starts to kind of, like, take it back, not, like, you know, you know, holding it very carefully, you know. But, uh, yeah, so, um, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you have a, you, you have a good day. You look like you need some rest. It's a good thing it's almost close time, right? <laughs> you have a wonderful day. We hope to see you back again. Hopefully we'll have some new things in here. Uh, you know, I might, I might come back. Yeah. And he takes the poster and he walks on out. Tell your friends, it's not a pawn shop. <laughs> and the creepy old man isn't in here anymore. <laughs> Damn. What? People don't want to come in when they see Lucian and his <laughs> happy face. <laughs> um, the rest of the evening is quiet. You don't get any other customers. You close up the shop as usual. Sun sets. It's a beautiful day. turns into a beautiful sunset. Rains everything orange outside. But eventually it fades. You turn on the lights outside and inside and close up the shop and after a couple of hours your friends start to come downstairs. It's like the first time I've seen them in days. <laughs> Do we need to roll hunger, Star? Um, I was going to have you all just start at one. Okay. Let's make it easy, especially since we got uh, some crazy donators out there. You know who you people are. <clears throat> we love you. For the kids! <laughs> Stasia warmed everything up and is just waiting in her hidey hole in the kitchen. The one, little... <laughs> the one between the, the, <laughs> the, the fridge and the, and the, the, the counter. The, the counter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is she in there? She's tired. Oh, okay. There. That's, that's where I go to hide from the world. Also, when I hear oh, Lucian Lucy. coming, I can start moving. <laughs> Look, busy. Hold the pots and pans. He doesn't know anything about food. <laughs> yes, you, Kai. You would be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who gets up first? Who's the early bird? I think me. 
I think it's a tie between me or Lucian. I think Lucian would be up my ass. Or no, wait, see, no, <laughs> no, Joseph, no, don't ever say that no, again, all please. of you, no, you're, you're the <laughs> one, you you're the one who started definitely going fun. back to bed. No, it now. wouldn't have. Joseph already made a face. I could see it in his <laughs> eyes. Jason walks out, turns around, walks back in. <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, between Lucian and, uh, Lindsay. Rock, paper, scissors. That's a human thing. Then be dead for another hour, you dick! <laughs> I'll let Lucy Lucian get up first. I do my whole scrolling through the socials again. Yeah, which... you're awake, just not up. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> down yet. <laughs> which, and... Lindsay, you, uh, to remind you, and to let the rest of the viewers know, you scroll through your old phone, same same old, same old. Yeah. Your usual phone has been limited to texts and calls only. I remember. Uh, <laughs> Lucian is going to come down. He's going to go in the kitchen. Stasia's see Stasia. Scramble. Turn around and walk out and go to the, the front room and sit down and resume reading the same book that he's been reading for the past three days, pull out his cell phone, and check it for any incoming or outgoing messages. I don't believe there would be. Well, actually, there would be. I'm not checking f for myself. I know. Okay. Um, you see an exchange, because... Yeah, obviously, DB knows this because she's been listening to this the entire freaking time. Yeah. She's you see, been here. <laughs> you see an exchange between Lindsay and Prada. Lindsay asking or thanking him for talking to Nicholas. And this is from a couple of days ago, I think. Like a day or two, maybe. Lindsay thanking him for talking to Nicholas for him and then asking him what Nicholas meant by she needed to be protected. Prada replies with because you're Lindsay you're Lindsay fucking havoc. You don't need to be protected. <laughs> Lindsay fucking havoc, dude. And a second text says, on a serious note though, I'm not entirely sure. It could be from the world or he could mean from himself. And I have forgotten what the other second part of that conversation was. Fool. Do you want me to pull it up? I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Eh. Boop a doo. Um. Oh, Lindsay says, "What is he keeping from me?" It sounded like you knew something, and Prada responds with, "I have no idea what you're talking about." Ah. <laughs> Prada. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Fucking Prada. I kind of like that guy. Yeah, I'm Team Prada. I am I going to put my phone away before I miss uh, type or use it on, you know, accidentally send something. So I'm going to put my phone away and then resume reading my book. And I'm not going to say anyone say anything to anyone until spoken to. Uh, Stasia like scrambles to get all the stuff in ready and like comes out. Uh, morning, e evening, night. Did you get? Here's any sleep, like I told you? I did. Lots of it. Are you lying to me? This is like the first time you've seen her in three days. No. Because I will know if you're lying. Uh, what? Don't think that just because it's daytime I don't know what you're doing. What? what? Just... <laughs> she just like hands the drink to you and like, like like pushes it into his chest like just take just take your stuff and I'm gonna go think about my lie in my room laying down with my eyes closed Good. if you need me yell or whatever I will holler oh okay it did you want me to yell at you I, I don't know I think kind of a little bit yeah <sighs> okay no no um, I don't actually want you to the yell the tea is a bit cold yell. it's not it, what it is 
absolutely not cold. It is absolutely definitely 98.7. That's 0.7 degrees too hot. Cool it down. I like 98 degrees. Especially that, uh, Nick. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for the dumb joke. <laughs> no. You're doing a fabulous job, Stasia. Um, thank you for, you know, the, um, task that I had assigned to you was completed, and it's working well. Thank you. You're welcome. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you? Uh, yeah, I, um, okay. Are you, do you need anything else? As she, like, pulls the drink, she's, like, blowing on it. He reaches out and grabs it from you. It, the temperature's fine. She's, like, slowly backing away. <laughs> Let me know when Lindsay is awake. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, Basil's here too, still, isn't he? Um, yes. Might not be. He might have gone to his house. I don't know. Is Basil still here? <laughs> uh, Would you find out sure. for me, please? Uh, <laughs> Maybe he stayed over last night. I don't know. Okay. Got, Sleep got over. Too close to the sun. Okay, well, um... <laughs> she just turns and goes upstairs. She actually goes the wrong way for a second and then comes back and goes the other way. <laughs> she's so odd when she's detoxed. I can hear you! I'm aware. Uh, take hold. <laughs> I can hear you. Keen senses and all. <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> Lindsay and apparently Basil. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know yet. I haven't found out. <laughs> <clears throat> I get up after a while. It's a toss-up as to whether or not Lindsay wakes up and Basil is there or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yeah, I get up. I start walking out of the room. She's, like, about to, like, knock. Hey. Hello? There was... One of your posters sold today. Oh, well that's good. He was asking a lot of weird questions. I just assumed that you may have maybe noticed, known him, maybe. What did he look like? I made mean, a mohawk. It's green or blue or maybe one of those two colors. Uh, I, I was kind of um, not paying attention. I, I, but I, I, uh, I quickly pull out the old phone that I have mm -hmm. and uh, I open it up and I turn it and show her a picture of my friend oh yeah that guy and don't don't let anybody see that you have that <laughs> she like put I, I know <clears throat> you sold a poster to Tony If that guy's Tony, then yeah, I sold a poster to Tony. You sold a poster that had Tony on the poster. Oh. Oh. What? He is bass guitar for Havoc Rising. Oh. Then it's just like... <laughs> the realization is like when I realized... That like uh, Stone Sour and fucking <laughs> um, what's his fucking face? Oh my god. Anyways, they're all three the same person, and I was like, I knew the voice sounded exactly the same, but I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, he 
does have a face from a uh, fucking. I can't think right now. I'm, I'm real life Stasia. <laughs> yeah, mood. Wow. No, Aaron really. I'm, I'm too okay. in character. But yeah, no, <laughs> she's just having that like. Uh, I'm 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 sorry, Lindsay. I I'm I'm sorry. I it, it's it's been a long. No, no you. Uh, you don't have to apologize. No, no, I it's... just feel so stupid. Oh my gosh, she was looking me right in the face, and now it makes sense. What the fuck? I could have gotten his autograph. <laughs> You Fuck. have a whole bunch of merch with his it's autograph on it. It's not the same. He doesn't know me. I was looking him right in the face. Just never mind. It just, just doesn't matter. I, I, I don't. I don't even know who he is. It's, just, it's fine. I'm gonna. I, is Basil here? <laughs> She's uh, like going. She's like walking away. Listen. This is a week. Was that necessary? Yeah, he wanted me to do that. She like opens <laughs> Basil's door. What? What's where's the fire? No, oh, no fire. Just you know, you're here. She closes the door. Dressed like she closes the door Whoa. and she's like, "Listen, <laughs> Basil's here too." Stasi, I think you need to go to bed. He yanks open the door like, please, <laughs> do not. You don't tell me what to do. No, I said please. <laughs> she just snaps. Are, are you okay, Basil? <laughs> yeah, a little yelling's not gonna hurt me, but why? Why are we yelling? What's happening? You're the only one yelling right I don't now. Know. Go to bed. I, I'm walking I'm away. This, I'm like, oh my In god. Bed. <laughs> Literally dead to the world. <laughs> Stasi just slams her door. <laughs> and even though, like, even though, it, like, uh, she goes to her pillow and she screams into it, you guys can still hear it. Very thin pillow. <laughs> head's not quite all She's the way She's actually doing it. that a lot the last few days. <laughs> Just throwing up and and screaming and crying <laughs> and loud music Ooh. to try and cover it. <laughs> Lindsay, is she gonna be okay? You'll have to excuse her. It's um that time of the year for her. No, I don't know no. what that means. That I don't mean? want to know what that means. No, don't, don't ask. I just did. She's on a cycle. I still don't know what that means. The, do you not remember what it's like to be human? I'm sure you've taken drugs, alcohol. When you do too much, you have to go to those meetings that she goes to, and it ravishes her body in some weird way. She'll be fine. She probably wouldn't have to take as many drugs if you gave her, like, a day off. I'm sleeping. I don't know what she does during the day. Well, till recently. I, I, I look around the, the Oh, the you shop. meant a night off. Yeah, no. What Just do you mean, one? yeah, no? No. That's what she says. She's my ghoul. She can okay, sleep during not, the day. You no, not to pa, pa, ta, ta, pa, she, <laughs> <huh>. <laughs> You are not going to have a goal much longer if you work her to death. Being human, you need to sleep. Again, what the day is good for. We all do it. You ever run a shop run, during the day? Th th thank you. None of my clients come during the day. That's on her. All right, well, uh, we can just tell her she can close the shop all all day, every day, seven days a week then, and, Good luck. and see what happens. I have your tried. Income. Ooh, mm, have you? Several times. She thinks herself a, 
part owner. All that stuff up front is hers. Well, <laughs> it was. Sorry. Thank you for replacing yeah. that, Lindsay. That was very nice of you. Who does who does the accounting exactly? D did you handle those those numbers? I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You're not here. <laughs> I handle my like, numbers, yeah. and she handles hers. Why are you so curious about my shop and its operations all of a sudden, Basil? I don't know. Maybe because Stasia seems a little stressed out, and she's doing everything. She's a human. It's their natural state to be stressed out and anxious. Yes, but you're the icing on the cake. Well, thank you. I think I am quite sweet. Do you like to call me Buttercream Wolf. from now on? Or perhaps you would I'll like me whipped? I'll you those first four letters. How if about I that? could throw up, I would. Uh, <laughs> I find you all entertaining. I'm glad you are still here. Mm. Big round insults. <laughs> There's a knock at the shop door. I'll go check it out as fucking Stasi is asleep, hopefully. Not likely. She's at least out of the room. Yeah. I'm uh, yeah, I'll go check out the door. Yeah. Lindsay, you go to check out the front door. Are you going to open it or are you just gonna like look through? Uh, I'll look through. On the porch you see a woman that you don't recognize. And after a minute She's, she's standing there. She's got these, like, red, those, like, circular lens glasses, big floppy black hat, black hair that's kind of pulled up into, like, a um, bun in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe what? just looked at Strahd, and I went, oh, oh. it's Strahd. <laughs> yeah. It's Strahd in a dress! <laughs> full <laughs> circle! <laughs> We've now, come um, full circle. <laughs> full circle. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, um, she does have black hair that's pulled up into a bun underneath this big floppy black hat, dressed kind of grungy. But she's standing there for a moment, doesn't seem to be, you know, she seems to be waiting for someone to open the door to see if anyone's even here. And then after you watch, you see behind her is a familiar face. It's Diana. Who's kind I of just like- run away from the door. <laughs> Where, Where are you going, Lindsay? Uh, What's happening? He... You should answer the door. That chick that I punched when she was a wolf outside. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get up, put the book down on the table, and adjust my tie and answer the what's door. What's the book? As he walks away, what's the book? Uh, I guess it's this. Uh, Tao, Tao Te Chi. It's the only book I had close by. Method acting. Okay. Bless you. <laughs> Lucian. Oh, you open the door? Yes. You open the door. Does he know how to? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I was a vampire long before you were born, Stasia. Yeah, but Lucian's clan bane is doors, so. <laughs> all doors. <laughs> yeah, it's just all doors now. Not just car doors, all doors. All doors. <laughs> so you open the door, and the woman standing there looks up and says, Hi, um, is this the um, book shop? She's looking behind you at all the not books. And she's got your one of your cards in her hand. Ah, uh, this is Lucian's Antiques and Oddities, yes. Please don't let the front part of the shop fool you. Are you looking for something specific? Come on in. And I'm going to motion for her to enter. She steps in and Diana pops her head out like... Hi, is... Hey. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I'm she not there. Li oh, I'm not oh. there. I, 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 Is after... Basil still there? Yeah. I, I, what, like, when I said I ran away, it was, oh, someone's at the door. You deal with it. I go upstairs. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this other chick is. I'm scared. She's, she spots Basil and is like, nope, 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 nope. And, like, shrinks oh. behind the other woman. Whoa. Go. <laughs> <laughs> she goes she completely out of focus. The night. <laughs> yeah. But she kind of. Like shrinks behind her and tail is really close as the other woman walks inside and looking around like is this a place we can speak of kindred things oh yes of course 
please have a seat. And I'm going to pull out one of the seats that next to the one that I was sitting in, and I'm going to sit down. She kind of she looks around a little bit suspiciously, pulls out the chair and slowly sits. And I was told you had books that might be of interest. She glances at Diana, who has immediately started wandering and looking at stuff nearby. <laughs> ah, yes. So you okay? I'm sorry. It's um early. I haven't had my um first cup. Of- you did it! <laughs> oh my god! I'm not muted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've uh, I've been expecting you. Um I have books of all kinds, um specifically older books, more keen on kindred interests. Oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for actually. Oh, you're trying to make it focus. Okay, I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Sorry. I was interested in anything Kindred history, hmm. perhaps Camarilla history, or the Sabbat, if you have anything on them. Unfortunately, I do not have anything on the Sabbat. I do have some basic history of the Camarilla, but uh, you hmm. probably already know most of the things in this particular book. I'd it's be happy entirely, to show it to you, though. It's entirely likely, but uh, I will still look. She glances over where Dinah has just about completely disappeared into. Th- <laughs> you just see little snatches of her as she walks by. Very engrossed in all the random stuff that's in the pawn shop area. Not a pawn shop, but yes. The, the, <laughs> the not pawn shop area. Sure, yeah. Um, I'd be interested to see what you have. Yes, of course. Come back into my office. Diana, you'll be fine with Basil. You just see the head pop up. What? I promise, uh, Basil won't bite hard. That's give illegal. Me... <laughs> give me wits and awareness real quick. I was referencing Diablerie, but yes, you can still bite without cannibalizing. It's fine. What did, what yeah. did I need to roll? Wits and awareness, please. Wits and awareness. That is a two and awareness is one. So three, I have one hunger, so two and a red. Three successes. You see, at Diana looks at her friend, and her friend gives her a look, and you realize that she's making a hand motion very subtly, and then tucks it back, tucks her hands back down, and Diana just nods and goes back to like skulking around the shelves. And all right, uh, show me what you've got. Let's see. <laughs> I lead her back to the office and pull out a couple different books, specifically the one referencing the recent-ish history of the Camaro. Yeah, and and they're all very old, very... Oh, threadbare is not the word, but almost handwritten. Definitely not anything that's widely published or anything like that. It's a very basic recounting of the Convention of Thorns, how the tenets of the masquerade were established, how various clans reacted to the, the decision and splintered off or joined. There is a small mention of the Sabbat, if only to say that they have not decided to adhere to any of the tenets of the masquerade or anything that the Camarilla stands for, even so far, like further off than the Anarchs, even. But it, she doesn't seem very impressed. She's like, yeah. Yeah, I've already read this one. Yes, it's um, it's been in circulation among Kindred. I had assumed you'd seen it. It's also sort of just you know, the basic history. If you're ever interested in learning the thing, that's usually the first thing you learn. What about anything on blood sorcery? <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to let you know about some of the things I have, but perhaps we could make an arrangement. What does that mean? Well, you know, as kindred do, if I have a scroll that you're interested in, perhaps if I ever need any assistance, 
a small favor. As you're talking to her and looking at her, because you figure you're like in the back side of the room, but you still have lights up mm -hmm. in the back room. Give me intelligence. It's intelligence and awareness. Awareness. Okay. I have two successes and two blanks. Two successes, two blanks. As you're talking to her, looking her in the face, talking, you know, implying about doing a doing a boon exchange. You feel like you've seen her before, but you don't, you can't place where. And it's difficult because she does have her hair up under this big hat that kind of covers her a bit and you can't see quite past the glasses. But something seems vaguely familiar about her. Mm. And the way she's narrowing her eyes at you, it seems like she may be thinking that too. I have suspicions as a player, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Basil, if you're still in the front room with Diana, at one point you hear a gasp. And just a, no way! She like pops her head around. Are you fucking serious? I got punched by Lindsay Havoc? <laughs> I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Wait, it doesn't quite fit. I didn't say Dang that it. one. I know what you're. I, I, I know what you're talking about. My dad used okay. to say it all the time. I don't. I. I didn't say that. Yeah. No. Uh. You I, did. It's. It's pretty impressive. She's. She's like the nicest one of our group, and you just got. <laughs> wham! It was. It was awesome. Did I, did I hear her say probably? My name? Oh, especially God. I poke my especially head. Especially if you're out, not like too. really high up the stairs, and you're just kind of chilling out listening. You also I have think, heightened yeah. senses slowly come down the stairs. She looks up. To... I... You're in Lindsay fucking Havoc. I'm not. Not really. But, you, but did, you're on the poster! You're on the CDs! Yeah, that was a long time no, ago. No, it wasn't! It was like... I, I mean, yeah, I was still human too, but like, it wasn't that long ago. I'm I'm sorry I punched you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I tried to bite your face. <laughs> Looking at both you and Basil. Yeah. Um, I also am sorry for scaring you the other day. Yeah, that was a little much. I, a lot of things have been a a lot of much. Uh, look, that, if, I, this whole this whole thing is much. This whole thing yeah. is bullshit. Yeah. I, I'm still sorry. <laughs> it, 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 I try and fight you. You punch me, and it, 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 it works out. It's fine. You're Lindsay fucking Havoc. What the hell? I'm really not. But that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw you in concert one time. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Lindsay's kind of embarrassed. She's like, uh, like, it's been a while. If a kindred like, could blush. <laughs> yeah, she's just like, I haven't spoken to a fan in a while. Do they keep doing this? <laughs> Band has a new singer. Why am I? Okay. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> the kindred... I think I want to see what you have before I decide if it's worth favors. Fair enough. Although, I keep those in my private office. Well, I don't have to go with you up there, or wherever it is. It's just across the hall. You see her glance back towards the front room and the door, and seeming to judge how far it is. 
it's across the hall and the the door next to that. So mm-hmm. it's like five you, steps you away. Get, you get the sense that she's keeping track of exits and escape routes and such. Ah, got you. I'm going to turn and start walking towards the office, kind of like keeping an eye to see if she's following. She follows slowly. You see her gaze kind of lingering towards the front room where Diana is having her freak out. And she follows carefully. You know, it was quite difficult to get a hold of this. I had to, um, had to travel to Russia. Traveling in this state? Mm-hmm. Something I haven't done in a very long time. I'm specifically listening to her voice. Okay. It's not necessarily... It's not so much her voice that's striking you as familiar. Okay. It's the look. It, like, You feel like if you could... If you could get a better look at her face... What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was totally not. Nope. Sorry, I broke. Yeah. Is it the chat? Because no. Oh. <laughs> DB knows what she did. <laughs> it's all DB's fault. See, I'm over here waiting for the Anastasia Beaverhausen jokes, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a throwback. Those two. Um, so I'm gonna go back in there. If it's not the voice and I'm not picking up on that and it's just the looks, then I'm 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 feeling like back to that, hmm, where have I seen this person before? Who is it? Because he had a theory and then that theory is now gone. So he's just like, okay, well, I, I know I know her from somewhere, but he's just kind of going in and uh he goes into his office and pulls out uh some kind of scroll or something that he has. It's probably nothing too I mean, Lucian has his ways of getting things, but he's not, like... And usually, especially for someone who's not a Tremere, to have advanced blood sorcery, it's not really heard of. Yeah. But you may have come across one or two over time. If you find something like um, Ward Against Ghouls, it's a fairly basic one. She... You, you kind of you hold it over to her, and it's not so much a scroll as it is like a little instruction sheet, like kind of like, yeah, like a packaged up kind of deal. Yeah, and she kind of thumbs through. It's like mm. not exactly what I'm looking for. Well, what is it that you are looking for? Perhaps we should approach this from that angle, as you know, we could spend hours going through my shop. True. Which I would absolutely love to show you around. But um, I feel you have come here for a purpose. As... Well, don't get me wrong. I do love this. Gestures. History. Uh, learning. All, all of that. Oh, I thought you were referencing my shop. Well, yes, that too. But <laughs> the things in it. I I was looking for things that I haven't been able to find before. Hence the sabbat. More specifically, any sort of rec- record of the sabbat in Heligdom. And maybe how they were fought. Hmm. Uh, and give me uh, da, 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 da. intelligence and history. Intelligence? Or academics. Sorry, intelligence and academics. Okay. And if you have a specialty in history. I do, I believe. Wait. Where's history? I don't even see history on here. I have ac- I do have academics. That's a two. Uh, what was it? I'm sorry. Academics and what? Academics and history. Uh. I don't see history on here at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Academic intelligence and academics. <laughs> okay. I am text. Three. I'm typing and saying things <laughs> at the same time. It's all good. So, okay, five and one. Oh, K. 
cat. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four onks, and one of them has the, the two stars. Okay, so four successes. Okay. One second. Tapping with one hand. So, this, as far as the Sabat and Heligdom, you know that the Sabat has not been spotted or really present in Heligdom since about the 40s or 50s. You don't know much about it because the vast majority of kindred who were alive during that time did not survive, but there was a time about an 8 to 10 year span in the 40s to 50s where the Sabbat descended upon Heligdom and raised the kindred um, residents, uh, denizens, population, raised the kindred population. But it was weird. They didn't stay long. They appeared, wiped out a bunch of kindred, and then moved on after those eight to ten years. Hmm. It was right before you were turned or embraced. So you didn't really get like the brunt of it, but you know that it happened. Gotcha. I'm going to explain that to her. Um, and explain that that's probably why I don't have anything. But... If you give me a couple nights, now that I know what you're looking for, I could probably come up with something. That would be appreciated. That might be worth a boon. But yes, that's exactly what I was referring to. That's exactly what I'm trying to research because there's not in not it's not a lot of documents from those nights. Yes, well, when the Sabbat raise the population. A lot of our stuff has gone with it. A lot of the oral history has gone with it. It seems it's rude to ask, but did, do you know of anyone that is old enough to have been there? In Heligdom? Yes. Do I? <laughs> Star. Um, I'm trying head, to think. Sorry. I don't think I do. You don't, you, because you don't actually know the ages of most of the kindred that you've come across, because it's not something you just ask somebody. Right. You can assume a few people that are higher up in the Camarilla are old enough to remember, but you don't know for sure. I don't, I don't think so. Not anybody in Haligdom anyway. Hmm. It's a pity, because I don't either, but if you do find something, let me know. Of course. I... Do you have a way of contacting you? You obviously have my card. Perhaps you should leave me your number. <laughs> she pulls out uh, another like piece of paper. It looks like probably something torn out of the bottom of a notebook. And scribbles down a number and says, this isn't my number, but it's the number of someone who can get in contact with me. Fair enough. Oh, yes. Sorry. I will <laughs> take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will have um, Stasia put this in my phone. Uh-oh. Thank oh, you no, for the Oh, no, that was just a follower. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> we all freak out when we hear noises. Give me one last wits and awareness, or no, intelligence and awareness. Okay. I was about to ask a question. I think this is what the role is for, though. So what we'll do. What? Wits and what? Wits and awareness. Awareness, okay. Uh, two and one. Cuckoo. Two successes, one blank. Two su you only have three dice? For, you said wits and awareness. Uh, awareness is a one, and wits is two. Or intelligence and awareness. Ah, okay. Uh, intelligence is a little higher. That's three. I'll have an extra dice. Do I still have an extra dice I in my say, dice pool? Yeah, don't you still have something? I think from... I do. I'm gonna throw yeah. that. I'm gonna throw an extra dice in there from that uh, donation. Thank you. 
That is two onks with the stars and one regular onk and a blank. That's five successes. Perfect. So she writes this down, she hands it to you and you take it. And at the same time, your eyes meet. And she has the same realization that you do. You have seen her before. It's been a minute, but you have seen her before at the side of Samuel. But it's been a couple of years. And at the same time, you see that she has that light bulb go off and she says, you know, I think we, um, doesn't seem like it's going to be anything that we need. So I'm going to um, go get Diana and head out before she breaks anything. And she turns and starts to leave the office and head back out towards the front room. Oh, okay then. Well, have a fantastic rest of your evening. Tell Samuel I said hello. Uh, so the woman is walking, power walking at that point towards the front. When you say Samuel, Diana's head pops over one of the uh, aisles with this horrified look on her face. <laughs> Ears. <laughs> <laughs> and at the same time, the other woman grabs her arm and is like, come on, we're going home. And they basically drags her out the front door. Hmm. Bye, Diana. She's just like, uh. <laughs> Making friends, Lindsay. Basil, I already know you've made friends. I, it's, you know, it's interesting when people figure out that I used to be the lead singer of a band. Yes, Will. The past has a funny way of popping back up at the least expected times, doesn't it? It would seem so. Lindsay, you should own it. Yes, you have your face plastered all over these posters, if you can call them that. Yeah. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Says baby. <laughs> Don't ever call me that. Baby. Yeah, a little weird. Please, please, no. Uh, <clears throat> it was not a term of endearment. I was making fun of her for being so young. I know what you were doing, but... Good. She is a baby, but it still sounds gross coming out of your mouth. Please, don't. <laughs> Unless you shave that mustache. I would. I have. You know, it just grows back. I'm kind of stuck like this, like you are stuck like that in your yeah, thank college you. I know. form. Is your hair naturally white or is that like a dyed thing that you did before? It's hereditary. Okay, I was just wondering, obviously mine's dyed, so... Hereditary, you say? I'm going to lean in real close and try to look through the mirrored sunglasses to see the eyes. Can I see past the sunglasses? That's Kenny? <laughs> uh, sure. What color are your eyes? They're green. Okay. I'm waiting it's for not, Basil to go yeah. bonk. <laughs> yeah. The he probably does. Finally, yeah, if he gets like a fucking bruja. <laughs> if he gets within like a foot, I'm it's getting, gonna be a dental. I'm dental getting bonk. in and just looking like right right through the glasses, trying to see the color of your, your eyes. It's a love tap. Head bump. <laughs> that was entirely unnecessary. Yeah, there's a bubble. There's a line, okay? People pay to get this close. Was well, it a bubble or a lie? I've paid. <laughs> <laughs> a premium, uh, I know. Wait, hold on. What are you paying? What are you paying for? What is happening? Have you not seen OnlyFans.com slash Pesto1? Nothing's happening. Oh. Let's talk about your, your fan. Your no. not, not fan. 
When Stasia wakes colleague? up, I'll have her show you. Shush. I put my hand over Basil's mouth. Colleague? What? No, 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 no. You had a visitor this uh, uh, afternoon, this evening. No, mm -hmm. I haven't, no. You do realize there are cameras over here. St Stasia I, I has know, this place on lock. I can just really look. It's not really any of your fucking business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is my business. But the, Literally, right my now, business. Lucian, you don't want me to touch your piano. You do not mess with this person. Just curious as to who it was. I wasn't going to mess with them. I understand the sentiment, though. Understood. Well, after that awkward silence, what are we doing tonight? Trying to take over the world, <laughs> as we do every night. <laughs> well, uh, we've learned nothing about where any of these people have gone. That's not entirely true. It's mostly true. We know they've one guy talked to somebody. Dave's familiar walked around the corner of a building and disappeared. He could have been picked up by the doctor, for all we know. Uh, we know it's it's not by force. Why oh, would that... ghouls just be leaving? Like they, there's a thing there. They can't just. I, yeah, eat. you know, you know how uh, how like vampires have powers, our kindred have powers, and whatnot. Some people can just make you do things. Okay, but yet the, there's consequences, right? Like, Lucian, back me up. You know, well, my cool. consequence was I got married from it. Thing. So. Yeah, we we know there's there's the trauma here. If when you're, we are here for you when you're ready no, to talk. No, I don't need. To What's talk this? To we should we go and sit down? Basil is here for a you. Nice plushy chair. Listen, Lucy, and I know that you're not here for me. You don't give a fuck. I get it. Um. Now you're just putting words in my mouth. Dacia can get us some vampire tea bags. No, I, we're not having therapy about ever, what's going on in my life. I'm with Basil on this one, Lindsay. If you're going to be an effective member of this coterie, you're going to have to deal with your baggage. <laughs> Currently, it's dealt with, so don't worry about it. Okay, but if it pops back up again, there's a couch in the back room. Basil, you're more than welcome to use it. What's it? That, now I'm confused. <laughs> As a therapy couch. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not for your OnlyFans. For the therapy. Oh, man. Although, Stasia probably does have cameras in that room. Uh, can we not... What do you do on your OnlyFans? Oh, well. <laughs> Look, Start. it's right here. Uh, <laughs> Extrapolating. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just like glancing until it's like too awkward for me to even look at. I don't even it's a little bit of everything. There's cars, there's booty, there's cake decorating, you know. Cooking what? with basil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real. I'm I'm a person. I'm a human too, you know? That you connect. That's not true, Basil. You are aware of that, right? Oh yes, of course, but you know. Okay. There's no pedestal. There's no difference. We're all just a little bit of a pedestal. <laughs> I mean those thighs, Basil. How? Hey, Stasia, did you ever fall asleep? <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear you, Sally. Fucking hope so. <laughs> no, just gonna no. be depressed in my room. Just oh, laying on the floor. Come here. Just start hearing music being played. If, if anybody needs therapy, it's that one. <laughs> Uh, Stasia, oh, give me we're not excluding Stasia either. It's, it's, it's Mazzy stars fade into you. <laughs> uh, Stasia, give me wits and awareness. 
Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> I have two blanks, three unks, but one of the unks has a star, and one of the unks has fangs, and one of the unks is just regular. Okay, so that's three successes. It's your house. <laughs> yeah. Um, somehow through... No, wait, one of the onks has stars, one of the onks has fangs. That's five. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, that's a crit. So somehow through this song that you've put on to stop listening to the conversation going on in the other room. I can hear it? I, I don't know. I, I hope not. <laughs> not anymore. Okay. <laughs> you hear voices outside. It takes you a second to like actually hear... It's hard to tell what they're saying with the music going on, but it seems to be two female voices. Like outside her window area? Like, not far. Not like someone's like standing right outside yeah. your window and is talking to you, but like someone has stopped and is talking. Uh, she'll just turn down the music and open her window and just like stick her <laughs> head out, you know, like, <laughs> shut the fuck up! No. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, oh, our fucking, get up our street, you fucking noobs! Um, down below, you can see- are, are you on second floor or are you on the first floor? Second floor. Second floor. So, below, you can see, under the street light, two people. One of them has- she has her- she's got a big hat, and has her hands to her head, and is pacing back and forth. And the other one, short, looks like maybe Diana is like gesturing like no it's it'll be okay we can just go home and and the other one's just walking back and forth like we fucked up 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 and Diana's like let's just go home let's get, just keep walking just so starts kind of push her just keep walking we'll get home we'll talk to rain talk to kane we'll figure out what the fuck's going on okay we'll be okay and you're just like pushing her down the street <laughs> hey do you guys need help and they both stop. Now she's just the She looks like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> she's crying and shit. It's like there's a moment of hesitation, and you just hear, "No, <coughs> it's Diana." Do you need help? No. Okay. Is that, is that you from nope. the other day? Nope. No, it nope, looks no nope, no nope, nope. like it is she you. Starts pushing her friend again. Come on, go faster. <laughs> okay, you should stop in sometime. In the daytime. And never mind. That's stupid. <laughs> she shuts her window. She's gonna go downstairs. <laughs> We're Lucy and Basil are awkwardly trying to show Lindsay Basil was only fans. She walks in and then walks back out. No, Stasia, come back. No, no, never mind. I this is a really bad time. I, I need you to save me from these two, please. No, we we should let her sleep. Is she gonna go sleep more? She just pulls out her phone oh. and like kills the fucking internet, the Wi-Fi. Wait, we we would we were only fancying it. Unlimited data. It's okay. Yeah. I don't. Wait, how do how I do I do? We have unlimited data. How do I turn that on, Stasia? Before you go back to bed. We have a military grade jammer in here. I will turn it on. So help me God. Thank you, Stasia. I really don't think God has anything to do with it, but you it know. has everything to do with it. Okay. Anyways, Lucian, I, I can I talk to you for a second, please. Okay. Excuse me, Basil, Lindsay. This um. Better be important, Dacia. Don't appreciate the tone. 
And I'm gonna follow her where she ever she wants to talk. <laughs> like, it, like it matters because they can all hear, but she just goes around the door <laughs> to the other side. They all get up against the door again. <laughs> yep. They need to. Heightened senses. I think they need to. <sighs> um, that girl from the other day was here outside with someone yelling. Not yelling. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, refocusing cameras is fine. High five. Re Re oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, they, um, they stopped by while you were sleeping. They were probably on their way out. This is what you had to tell me? Uh, they seem to be thinking they fucked something up. I don't know. It, did you... They did leave in quite a hurry as soon as she recognized me, but that's pretty typical. Didn't think anything of it. <clears throat> Sorry, this is me. I'm trying to just... <laughs> <laughs> Mood. Um, Lucian, I... Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I just work here, okay? Where have I heard that before? Probably from some other girl. <laughs> that jealousy? Her face is so red. <laughs> No. Good, because you know it's not just girls. I'm going back to bed. I'm going back to bed. Yes, we've talked about this before. I'm going to assume that it's because you're... What did, what did uh, Lindsay say? Overworked, stressed, <laughs> and anxious? She just I missed you. Good night. I'm going to awkwardly walk around the corner to Basil and uh, Lindsay. No. <laughs> she's, um, she's going back to bed. What were we talking about? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Everything is fine. The posters. Lindsay's Not actually home. going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just need Star to know that. Where are you going? <laughs> Obviously to follow those fuckers. Why ah. aren't you going to bed? Okay. You're not my dad! No, I'm not. That's weird. So, Stasi, are you going to try and sneak out? Is it really sneaking out if you're going out the front door? Are you just blatantly walking out the front door? I mean, they can't see me. They're in the back area. No, but two of them have heightened senses. And they were just up. She's not in the right state of mind. I mean, so if you want to, you can roll me a dex in stealth. Go out the window if I would assume that they would hear me go through the door. <laughs> but there's also a bell on the door. There's a back door. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just go through the kitchen window. Who's stopping me? No one's going to question me going into the kitchen. Okay. So... The three of you, what were you talking about? Basil just said something about posters. Posters. <laughs> and she left. So wait. Did we hear her climb through the window? I think I... it's quiet for a second as you guys are just like, nope, nope, nope. What are we doing? What are we doing? And then you hear the clank, clank, clank as a couple of dishes get kind of nudged over. I'm just gonna but... shout. The macaroni is gone. So, Fine, I'll please. find something else. Should we follow her? Follow her? She's in the kitchen. She's probably making a midnight snack or something. I, 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 I wasn't talking to you, sweet cheeks. Lindsay, should we... Yeah, my cheeks are sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, into the kitchen. No, I... Okay, uh, I follow Basil. Uh, by the time you get into the kitchen, you see that the window is open. There is no Stasia. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so 
sorry, that voice is hurting tonight. It um, sucks. Yeah, it's fine. I feel it now. <laughs> You're speaking a lot. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. Um, hey, uh, Lucian. Yes, Lindsay. Your your very good friend that was supposed to be in bed is not in the kitchen. She went back to bed then? Oh, the window's open. I highly doubt it. I'm saying this as I'm running towards the door. Mm -hmm. What's her deal? Uh, we're, just, we're, we're, we're just worried about Stasia. Why? Okay. She said that she was hungry and she was going to get something other than macaroni and that she was going to bed. She's because... going to go out and, and chew on a tree. She's gone, Lucy. Because ghouls have been going missing? What? Gone? <laughs> she lied to me? <laughs> That's not... Okay. I'm out the door. I'm looking for <laughs> ding, fucking Stasia. I'm going to get up from the table, and I'm stomping out the front door as well. All right. I assume Basil was in tow. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Stasia, so what's your plan? Do you got a plan? Is there a plan? No. No, not really, no. Just... <clears throat> I mean, give me wits and survival to see if you can track him down. You saw which direction they were going. Uh, three successes, and one of them is the stars. Okay. So it doesn't mean... If you're just kind of walking down the street at a pretty good pace, eventually you see them up ahead at a corner looking like they're... They've stopped a little bit like they're talking again and are trying to figure out which direction they need to go. They're not super subtle. <clears throat> She's just going to uh, like pull up her hood. <laughs> Just look like a street kid. <laughs> they like cross the street from them mm -hmm. and kind of stick to the shadows a bit, um, but linger like, like I'm messing around on my phone or something. Okay. Are you paying any attention to them? Oh yeah. As they're kind of looking back and forth, you see Diana's fiddling with her phone. The girl with the hat looks up, and you see the glimmer of the red glasses as she's looking at you suspiciously. She... <laughs> she kind of reaches over, <laughs> grabs Diana's sleeve, and starts to pull her down the opposite side of the street. She she is on the opposite side of the street. Yes, like oh. going going still going away from the shop, but also away from you. Oh, okay, got you. Just away. Gotcha. She will allow just a good distance, not enough to like get out of uh, sight. Like Why if you go around a corner, it's like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then <Yeah>. wait. <laughs> What about that time, as you're waiting for them to get a distance away, you you hear three sets of loud footsteps coming up behind you. I'm just gonna run, you know what? Because I don't want to hear Lucian. <laughs> I run after her. Quiet runs. Lucian no, is not we running. Also quiet run. Fine, stay behind, old yeah. man. This is fucking Terminator walking. He's not running, he's Terminator I'm walking. So, I'm so scared. <laughs> I, I'm gonna leave enough distance. I, like, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, because like, Basil and Lindsay took off running, so mm. I can see them. I'm gonna keep up with Basil and Lindsay, but, or, yeah, but not be running behind them. Mm -hmm. I'm just walking. Just power walking. Yeah. I'm keeping heightened senses up in case there's like an, any other kindred besides the ones that I already know are in the area that might be paying attention to us. Mm -hmm. And similarly, you, you can't really, if you hear something, it's not like you know immediately that's a kindred. No, no, no. Yeah, I just want to like 
if there's like movement that's too close to us kind of thing mm-hmm. or like any any kind of movement that isn't the movement that I already know that's supposed to be happening. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you hear the trees, you yeah. hear people inside their homes, you hear the occasional like car swing by or the car door slam or a dog or something. Yeah. As you guys all run after Stasia, who is trying to be stealthy and if stuff she's behind able these to people. get like get around like a corner, she'll just sit there and wait. And as soon as uh, Basil comes around, she's gonna like grab him and just bring him over. And she's just like, "What? What do you want? What? What are you doing? The same fucking shit you're probably doing. You're lucky my heart doesn't work, or else it would have stopped. No, it fucking wouldn't have. Grab people." She like looks around the corner to see if Lindsay is still coming. She's like, oh, "God, oh yeah, okay, just kill Lin- me." Just Lindsay's kill me. Lindsay's not far in base was wake, and you see Lucy and Power walking. Can you throw me on the roof? What? Can you throw me on the roof? I don't know, DM. Can GM? Can I? <laughs> can I throw her on the roof? You do not have that power. <laughs> you don't. Oh, no one no has strength. any strength. We have no strength. strength. A high enough strength to throw her anywhere. <laughs> and you certainly don't have prowess. I have a lot of gumption. <laughs> you have power, and that's what matters. <laughs> there, there's a reason why Morticia disowned you. Uh, Damn. <laughs> Shots he doesn't, he doesn't fired. disowned her. Uh-huh. That's Thank what happened. You. That's what the um, magazine said. <laughs> We're not, okay. This episode is not about my baggage, mm-hmm. all right? Let's... <laughs> not about anybody's baggage. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, so you do not think that you could throw Stasia onto the roof? No. I shake my head really hard. <sighs> then kill me. Just, just do it. Just shake your ass on his hands and just, just like puts it on her hand. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Where are you? What? Just go, go. No, go I don't follow her. I will go home. Will you? What else do I have to do? I don't know. Do you climb down the window and just... What? What? We just want a little adventure every now and then. What do you mean, what? (laughs) Fine. About this time, Lindsay's catching up. You see where Mm. where, where Basil got yanked into a corner. (laughs) Go figure it out. What are you waiting here for? Go home. For real. She just walks around the corner. <laughs> They're that way. It's about the time the scene starts to catch up. Yeah, no, she just walks over very solemnly. <laughs> dog in trouble. Stop. She's gonna, she's gonna try, like, <laughs> like, she's, like, walking, like, to try and avoid him. I'm gonna reach out and grab her by the arm, by like, by the bicep. And I'm gonna look her in the eyes. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'd rather you just yelled at me. I'm not going to yell. You know we would have come with you if you wanted to follow someone. You should have said something. You told me you were going to bed. You lied to me, Stasia, and we will deal with that later. Who are we following, and why? Is it those two that visited tonight? Why are you following them? I just kind of had a hunch. Your hunches go through me. Do you not understand the danger that you're in, Stasia? Ghouls are going missing. You could be next. Did you not see a shadow next to the shop? I've also been on a lot of drugs, Lucian, and I kind of sometimes hallucinate. One time I thought a bird was talking to me on the bus, and there was no bird. Okay, it just... She just pulls her arm. Just, Just stuff you wouldn't understand, okay? I'll go back home. The hell you will. You're staying with us. You are not to be unattended. 
You leave me unattended all day. <laughs> she, she just like leans in and like looks at him and narrows her eyes. Like you're not. You don't have someone following you around, do you? I don't even know why I'm asking. Of course you do. You would. Recently, I've been <laughs> concerned for your safety. C concern for my safety during the daytime? Yes, during the daytime. When Not a single one of these assholes have gone missing during the daytime, Lucian. It's probably some kindred. Fair enough. But how do you what think do they know? The daytime is my time. Are you speaking back to me? Your voice is awfully loud. And we're in the middle of the street. Are you causing a scene? You know how I do not like when you cause a scene. Where are Basil and Lindsay? Weren't they, did you guys keep going or were you still standing nearby? Especially since the drama started happening, Basil's gonna continue after the other okay. two. <laughs> I go with Basil. Okay, so they've. Thanks for the raid, everyone. Hey, hey. It's a raid. Oh, hey! Thank you for the raid. It's getting real intense. Yeah, we are playing a actual play, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Fifth Edition Chronicle called Na by Night. Currently, there is some uh, Ventru Ghoul drama going on, while the other two kindred. <laughs> Our Toriador and our Bruja are chasing after a couple of kindred that visited the Ventru's shop earlier. I sus as fuck! Yeah, sus as fuck. I would like Lindsay and Basil to make me wits and survival checks. Oh god, okay. okay I don't think well. you guys have much of either of those. Uh, uh listen. What? I have, th no, down. awesome. I have three of each. Okay, okay. Wits. Yeah, I have yeah, three wits. don't have very much of that. Why do you have three survival? Me some when do you have to survive? You know, all those mosh pits and what? fan it's not interactions. The same thing. <laughs> have you ever interacted oh, with a huge group yeah. of people? So have you much ever survival? been in a mosh pit? There is survival That's tactic. That's a different kind of survival tactic. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Four. Okay. Ooh. One. Uh, basically, you're still shaking up because Stasia grabbed you and pulled you into a corner, and you're concerned about the fact that that was able to happen. But Rude. Lindsay, you you catch sight of them a few blocks ahead, still walking a little bit hurriedly, and especially with heightened senses, you can see ahead. Looks like. Diane is messing with her phone, and her friend is keeping an eye out. Uh -huh. So, are you guys just running up after them? Or are you going to stealth, or how are we approaching this? I don't want to scare them. Like, I don't yeah. Be, I don't want to be that person. Someone was already but, scared tonight. Let's be But I am, I am worried because they rushed out of the shop a little bit, and now they're rushing down the street. Like, did they see something? Uh, so, I'm, I'm going to- monkey get a little well, <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get a little bit closer and go uh and Lindsay can't yell oh no uh but they okay use your cell phone just hit basil <laughs> tell me tell me what you need just ask them to stop nicely don't be a weirdo about this what be a weirdo do? she says to the bruja <laughs> <laughs> wearing sunglasses at night <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> please stop. Please, please wait. Please wait. <laughs> uh, I give Lindsay a thumbs up. She's just like. <laughs> give me <laughs> charisma and persuasion. Oh my Ooh. god, those are my things. <laughs> Pretty good at those two. You're a party of three party faces. You should be. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. Four charisma. And persuasion. Oh yeah. Three oh, persuasion. No persuasion, so. <laughs> it's all intimidation. There's only two. What are you talking about? <laughs> Four onks like and a skull. Roll, it should be okay. Well, the skull doesn't mean anything unless the whole thing is a failure. Beautiful. Like it was that one time. <laughs> hey, <now. laughs> the dark time we don't talk about. <laughs> um, Lock that away. So they stop. Against all odds, they stop. And they're looking at you. And like as you're watching... Girl, uh, as you're watching, the one girl stopped with, with the hat has stopped and is kind of like poised to keep going. As you watch in their silhouettes in the street lights, Diana's morph, Diana's silhouette morphs and becomes wolf like and starts stalking towards you guys. Uh, we like, I'm not gonna get closer if I see that. <laughs> you actually fucking stop. <laughs> I didn't know that it, she was like a person when I punched the wolf. True. Yeah. I am kitty corner behind Lindsay. So brave. I know I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that punch? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oof. I'm gonna hold up my hands and be like, "We don't want to hurt you. We just want to make sure you're okay because you kind of rushed out of you out of the show." Sh- the- <sighs> We try. <laughs> out of the shop? <laughs> yeah, out of the shop. So the the girl starts walking forward a little bit now that Diana's standing in front of her. Hack was up, tail straight out, ears forward. You see those yellow eyes again. She's jet black as a wolf. Very familiar to you as you have punched her. It's definitely confirmation that this is exactly the wolf you punched before. She's growling very low. And the other girl goes, How can you prove you're not going to hurt us? I have no intention at all. I, we've been dealing with some stuff. We saw you rush out. We just want to make sure that there's not anything happening with she you. She looks up and looks behind, like behind you as though to check and make sure there's no one else following you. You see her kind of focus her eyes for a second and look even further. All right. Does your friend know Samuel? Yeah. He needs to forget he saw me. What's going on? None of your business. But fair. He needs to forget he saw me. Honestly, if all of you could, that would be great. I was never here. Why were you never here? What? I am assuming it's bad blood, is what's happening right now. Yes, we'll go with that. Yeah. Have I seen her before? Give me awareness and intelligence. Am I a smart girl? I'm not very smart (laughs) or aware of anything. Oh, Lindsay. Three successes, though. She does look vaguely familiar. You think you may have seen her at one or two Elysiums when you first started going, possibly even when you were still human. Okay. Dressed up very differently. With her hair down, usually in a very nice dress, always at the side of Samuel, and not speaking. And actually, Lindsay... Fair. (laughs) Lindsay, now that you're thinking about it, you know that- you remember that body language. You know that body language. You've given that body language with Nicholas. You're trying to escape him, aren't you? I have. And I'm not going back. 
I don't blame you. I've been in a similar situation. Still in a similar situation. Well, I hope you get out too. But if you need anything at all, I'm, I will always try to help. I don't believe in this sire bullshit. Seconded. What you see is what you get with us. You can trust us. Wait a second. She looks you guys up and down for a second. You see Diana's growl goes there's like a little question mark on it and she glances back. So cute. <laughs> Tiny wolf lady. <laughs> and after a minute she says the number that I gave your friend it doesn't I don't have a phone. It doesn't contact me. Fair. It contacts someone that I know. That if you can get it from him, that would be a good way to contact me. Or she pulls out again, it's like it's almost like a little like like a little inviter's notebook kind of deal, and she pulls it out and scribbles another number. This is Diana's. And you hear again, er <laughs> I will scribble a number on for her as well. One of my numbers. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not the one that uh, is. It's the old phone. Necklace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she uh, put puts it in her pocket. If you have to address, if you have to use my name, my name is Kasai. Lindsay. Basil. So, we've got a ride coming. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Fair. Just wanted to make sure that you were okay. We will leave. I don't want to deal with her again as that wolf. Really cool that you can do that. You hear? It's almost like a chuckle. <laughs> Yeah. It's so cute. <clears throat> I mean <laughs> 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 so, um, But yeah, I'll start I'll start backing away just so that they know that we're not there mm -hmm. to hurt them or at all at all. Yeah, just make sure your friend keeps my name out of his mouth. I'll see what I can do. He's not one to give up information very easily so I don't think you have a problem we'll see fair be safe and she looks at Lindsay good luck you too and she turns and you see she actually kind of pulls out a collar and a leash latches it around Diana really quick and pretends to be walking her dog as she walks off down the rest. It looks like they've done this before. <laughs> Turn around and go back. Yep. Living their best lives. <laughs> I'm still making sure that there's not anybody else on the street that could have been watching us doing that. I mean, what's an awareness? Cool beans. Uh, oh, okay, that's a little bit better. It's and awareness. Mm, two. Two. Mm -hmm. Look around. You don't see anybody. Okay. No bat no bystanders, no late night walkers. It's about ten, eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. Okay. Stasi and Lucian. By the time you catch up with them, they're walking back. Lose the trail, did we? You could say that. Stasia 
<laughs> looks like just like the color has drained from her face and there's just no emotion whatsoever. Do you She's not even to, looking up at anybody either. Do, do you want us to go get you some food? She's fine. Where I didn't are ask we going you. Next? I don't know where we're going next. What leads do we have? Well, since you lost that lead, I suppose I don't there think that was, was a lead. no lead. They're clean. I wouldn't consider them clean, but okay. I wouldn't consider your shop clean either, but you know. Stasia, why is the shop not clean? It's <laughs> Why did you say that, Basil? I don't think it's Stasia's problem. Yeah, but everything is Stasia's problem to Lucian. Oh, the dirt. Is, so, like, before walking bad. up up to this, like, right point, she was, like, mellowed out, and the moment this started happening, her heart is just pounding. <laughs> well, if we don't have anything to check out this evening, then I am returning to the shop. Stasia, let's go. And I'm going to turn around and head back towards the shop. And Stasia follows. Basil, Lindsay? Yeah, my car is there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if we decided to do anything, we needed the car anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys make your way back to the shop. It's. You go through the CCTV footage, you go through Stasia's notes, you go through... Everything has gone cold, as far as you can tell. And you all kind of start to pitch your heads together throughout the rest of the night, trying to find some sort of connection, going over things. Can someone give me intelligence and awareness? Or everybody, my bad. Not just someone, everybody. <laughs> um, could I also text Prada and just ask him if he's heard anything else? Like, mm -hmm. if, if, he's, if anybody else has gone missing. Which phone are you using? Not the one that you don't know about, obviously. So the one that, the mimicked one. Yeah. Yeah. So, got... Lucy. Oh, go ahead. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh... Three regular unks and bang face on the red one. Okay, that's fine. Or a skull. I don't know. It's a skull. Yeah. Basil? What is that face for? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> oh, Basil is laying on one of those couches like you get a baseball and you're just throwing it up and catching it and throwing it up and catching it. And throwing it. You're not helping at all. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, what was your roll? Uh, five successes. You said the the one with the two stars. That's two. That counts as two. Okay, so if five. You, if you have if you have two of them, you, you only get a crit if you have two of the onks with stars, and then it counts as four. Okay, yeah, no, it's it's just one onk with two stars, and then three, so four, total. Okay, five. Cool, cool, cool. So you guys are going through trying to look through Stasia's notes, find trying to find some sort of connection, something common between all of them. At one point, you're going back through the different CCTV footage that Stasia has gathered. And Lindsay, you're the one who sees it. When you go back through the video of Charleston being taken at the warehouse, you do notice there is one thing that is a little bit telling about the person that's walking, that walks up speaks to Charleston and leads him away. You don't see his face. It's hard to get a build on him. He's very average. But there is a very, very faint limp. And that's really all you can tell that's significant. I, I, what, what I do is like, I'll rewind it like a few times to keep watching it to make sure that it's not just like a glitch in the system or anything. As you're doing that, Lucy and you can see it too. Is is that guy limping? It would appear to be a slight limp, yes. Do we know anybody who limps? 
Not that you can think of. Great, that narrows it down. Have I seen anybody before like that? Mm, nothing, especially not recently. Nothing really comes to mind. Okay. <clears throat> um, but you do text Prada. Yeah. He texts back a f- few minutes later. It's a little bit longer than he normally does. That's fine. And it says, I may have something for you. Let me get back to you tomorrow night. Perfect. Uh, Prada might have some information. He's going oh, it's back perfect. to us tomorrow. All right. And with that promise of new leads on the horizon, that's where we're going to end tonight's oh. chapter of our vampire story. Dun dun dun! dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will take this away from you, Star. Yay! Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Uh, it was a fun one. We had some crazy people show up, huh? Um, <laughs> so, uh, if you like what we're doing and you would like to support us, please consider becoming a patron. Uh, we have dropped some fun tidbits, especially for this show. Um, the- <laughs> earlier tonight before we even started i dropped the conversation between Lu- uh, not lucy and wow between nicholas and prata mm-hmm. uh and it's so juicy it was yeah, it's the so tea. good <laughs> um uh so you can look forward to things like that there's stasia's journal lucy, er, Lindsay's journal sure, you we'll, good yeah i'm the throat kind of hurts tonight for some reason oh, it may be a lot the, maybe the corset too <laughs> the king of that <laughs> diaphragm um but uh yeah uh if you would uh, we also have merch on our shop uh that is a great way to support us as well you can get any of the poster well most of the posters behind joe not all of them you can get the two that are behind me um we have t-shirts we have hoodies we have all sorts of stuff um we want to thank everybody who has been able to donate to mm-hmm. R- children's with riot uh, Riley's Riley Children's, Children's Hospital. Hospital. Yeah. What is wrong with me tonight? Yeah, are you good? Dude, I, I feel it. Am like, I drunk? Got a loose no, no, Yeah. Everyone's getting that contact high from Stasia. <laughs> Stasia um, like expelled it and it went into everyone else. Yeah, it's in the water. <laughs> um, you could follow us on all of our social medias at the Nerd Asylum. You can follow this show specifically on Instagram at NA by Night um follow us come join the discord please because we always we're always talking about theories of what star has hidden for us but also what joe has hidden for us for the other shows indeed so come join us just as tangled webs as i do if not he does (laughs) um it's it's great so there's also art there's also fun things oh 100 there's art there's um a bunch of people making uh just they're sharing all sorts of stuff mm-hmm. they have fitness challenges premium and... meme channel yes yes yes, yes. Yep. <laughs> can yes. confirm we got um, the dad jokes we also have quite an active voice chat so you can always come in and chat with any of us or any of the other people that are part of the nerd asylum um yeah thanks Great. everybody yeah, for joining you. us yeah uh hope to see oh well so this show will not be back for yeah. another three weeks i want to say no, yeah say it. no. i know <laughs> it's so long it's like three <laughs> weeks and then we'll be back in oh, may i think we're gonna be back on the third yes yes that is correct yes okay yes we'll be back on the third it will be okay guys <laughs> and then wait is it the third and then the 10th or is it the third and then the 17th when is your thing star i don't know joe what do we have on the calendar oh um i believe in may that it's another altered okay uh, schedule because we're, we're normally bi-weekly um yeah. but in may it looks like the third oh i have the third and the 17th in may on okay my so we're gonna, oh, okay. and maybe it's, june where it's mixed, mixed oh, up it's like it two, is june. two of the months out june. of the next coming months yeah okay. yeah yeah Ooh, that'd so, be spicy because i think that's around the time of the finale but that's also that so that we'll have three episodes in june Ooh. yeah oh. yep that's fun what yeah <gasps> we're not in june Happy sorry birthday in may. to me in may. Oh, <laughs> never, never. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> we 
we were talking about June, but no, Kaz, yeah. fuck you, you don't get it. <laughs> well, you still early I birthday. Had. The thirty first is close enough, honey. Um, Take the damn present. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, and have a great thank night. you. Stay safe Yeet out the there. Stream. Yeet the stream. Yeet the stream. Yeet the stream. Stay nerdy, friends. <laughs>